clear and specific and thoughtful about who they are and what they've what they're doing you know the, the sense of reflectivity and awareness is very refreshing as a professor working with many students in art uh, that level of 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 self-consciousness, productive self-consciousness, I find is rare. I, I think I would picture myself as this black modern ballerina with an afro, but still very classical and that could dance and be very versatile because I don't want to fit in a box, you know? I'm not just look as a dancer, more as a human, and you know, as in black Brazilian women who has a lot of history and heritage when you come to perform or you travel to places and you talk to people, they're always like, oh, are well, you from Brazil? And they sound so surprised, which is so interesting to me because majority of Brazilian population is black, but what they commercialize is something else. So people don't know that. I want to create a foundation actually all over the world. Um, I wanted to be able to go do workshops in many countries, many dance schools talk about my career, um, teach dancing, be able to have them sharing their experience. When you start in a very small dance studio, you're going to be the only one. Some people know how to deal with that and some others have a hard time. And that's when I want to come in. I want to be able to, hey, I know you're going to be the only one, but you are not alone. And there is so much more for you to accomplish in your work then be worried about you being the only one. Maybe you were the only one for a reason. Maybe you need to break the boundaries into yourself. And that's what I talk to my students most of the times. You know, I know the history has made this hard for us, but now it's time to change instead of regretting and coming back there every time. And I feel like with Brazil, it's the same thing, you know? Um, it's a little bit different than America because if you were poor there and you were black, it's worse. But if you are rich and you are black, you are treated completely different. And people don't have that idea, you know? So I want to be able to expand my work in many areas. Um, working with Brown Girls Du Ballet, which is an organization that I have so close to my heart. Um, I've known Takia Wallace, the founder, since the beginning. And I've me I'm mentoring nine little girls who we get to talk um, throughout the year, they get to ask me questions and I get to check on them to know what their plans are and kind of guide them through everything that they're doing. Um, I enjoy this very much because when I first started, I didn't have that. I didn't have the kind of like, let me go on Instagram and look for this person. Wow, she really exists. We, I didn't have that when I first started. None of us had that. So I feel like for this generation of people, it's one step ahead. There's nothing for you to complain. You got inspiration right in the tip of your fingers. The path is going to be hard. It has to be because that's how it's going to shape your vision towards, wow, I deserve this. I did so well and I've accomplished how to walk in this path that it changed. But I think that's what I want to do. I want to go around the world, talk to people, understand them, help them and make them better people. You know, that maturity uh, as well as other things we talked about from her background uh, to her experiences now moving into a, a type of teaching and mentoring herself as she goes from, from company to company, that kind of poise I really have been thinking about in her portraits.